The first one was the Taliban. Now the question is, what is the second? Uh, I think... Well, excuse me one second. Uh, you're making a connection between the Taliban and Iraq? Yes, I am. I'm saying that the, uh, if you look at those who harbor terrorists uh, and those who uh, support terrorists... Uh, and no, support I guess I was looking for a connection between September 11th and my understanding why we went to the Taliban is there was a connection there. They were harboring somebody that we believed did the act on September 11th. Yes, that's the first reason why right. you did it. Now you're going to take me from September 11th to Iraq somehow? Yes, but I'm saying something else. I'm saying the connection is not whether Iraq was directly connected to September 11th, but how do you prevent the next September 11th? That is, you have here um, a system or a, sub a subset of the international system that simply disavows any constraints on the use of power. It has fueled these handful of regimes and the uh, terrorist organizations that they harbor are fueled by uh, a, a terrible anti-Western zealotry, a militancy that knows no bounds, doesn't respect any force, knows no limits to the use of power. And one uh, would be Iran, you said? One is Iran, one Which is, is Iraq. more yes. nuclear capa capacity, more rocket capacity than Iraq in harbors Al-Qaeda people, or at least... Yes, now the question, the, the question others. you have is this. The question you have is this. This is now a, a question of... Uh, uh, not of values. Uh, obviously, we like to see a regime change, at least I would, in Iran, just as I would like to see in Iraq. The question now is a practical question. What is the best place to proceed? It's not a question of whether Iraq's regime should be taken out, but when should it be taken out? It's not a question of whether you'd like to see a regime change in Iran, but how to achieve it. Iran has the, uh, something that Iraq doesn't have. Iran has, for example, 250,000 satellite dishes. It has uh, internet use. I once said to uh, uh, the, chair, the heads of the CIA when I was prime minister that if you want to uh, advance regime change in Iran, you don't have to go through the CIA cloak and dagger stuff. Uh, what you want to do is, uh, uh, is take very large, very strong transponders and just beam Melrose Place and Beverly Hills 2050 and all that into into Tehran and into Iran because that is subversive stuff. They watch it, the young kids watch it, the young people, they, they want to have the same nice clothes at the same houses and swimming pools and so on. Uh, and that is something that is available in uh, forces, internal forces of dissension that are available in Iran, which is paradoxically probably the most open society in that part of the world. It is a lot more open than Iraq, which is probably the most closed society on Earth. And therefore, you have no ability to foment uh, uh, this kind of dynamic inside Iraq. So the question now is, choose. You can, uh, you can beam <laughs> Melrose Place, but it may take a long time. On the other hand, if you take out Saddam, Saddam's regime, I guarantee you, that it will have enormous positive reverberations on the region. And I think that people sitting right next door in Iran, young people, uh, and many others will say, the time of such regimes, of such despots, is gone. There is a new age, something new is happening. And that Iraq, is speculation on your part, or you have uh, some evidence to that effect? Uh, you know, I was, uh, I was asked the same question in, uh, in 1986. I had uh, uh, written uh, a book in which I had said uh, that the way to deal with uh, terrorist uh, regimes, well, with terror, was to deal with the terrorist regimes. And the way to deal with the terrorist regimes, among other things, was to uh, apply military force against them. To the way we them. did in uh, Afghanistan. The way, for example, I, I want to answer your question. Well, I guess Mr. I'm Tom. running out of time, so I quickly was trying to get there. We've done, I think, what you propose in Afghanistan, yet I haven't seen that sort of neighborhood effect. Well, I think, I think there's been an, an enormous effect. Uh, the effect was, we were told that there would be uh, a contrary effect. First of all, people said that there would be tens of thousands of people streaming into Afghanistan, zealots who would be outraged by America's action, and this would produce a counter reaction in the Arab world. But I think what you're happened, saying that when you take an action like we did in Afghanistan, we're going to see all the other countries just fold. No, what we saw happen. is something else. First of all, we saw everybody streaming out of Afghanistan. The second thing we saw is all the Arab countries and many Muslim countries trying to side with America, trying to make to be okay with America. The application of power is the most important thing in winning the war on terrorism. If I had to say, what are the three principles of winning the war on terror? It's like, what are the three principles of real estate, the three L's, location, location, location? The three principles of winning the war on terror are the three W's, winning, winning, and winning. 
The more victories you amass, the easier the next victory becomes. The first victory in Afghanistan makes the second victory in Iraq that much easier. The second victory in Iraq will make the third victory that much easier too, but it may change the nature of achieving that victory. May. It may be possible to have implosions taking place. I don't guarantee it, Mr. Turney, but I think it makes it more likely, uh, and therefore I think the choice of Iraq is a good choice. It's the right choice. Yeah. Ms. Uh, Barella? Ms. Yes, thank you. ארצות הברית זה לא מקשה אחת, זה לא מקשה אחת. יש את הסנאט, יש את הקונגרס, יש את הכוח היהודי שהוא עצום, יותר חזק משהיה אי פעם. יש דעת קהל, יש לנו כוחות כבירים בדעת הקהל שמתנגדים למדיניות הזאת, גדולי הפרשנים. במיוחד היום עם אמריקה, אני יודע מה זה אמריקה. אמריקה זה לא שאפשר להזיז אותו בקלות, להזיז לכיוון הנכון.